analyze signals are everywhere these days. Can they do more than communication? For instance, can they identify a person from a candidate video footage through walls? Consider this scenario. Law enforcement has a video footage of a robbery. They are suspicious that one of the robbers is hiding in a house. Can a pair of Wi-Fi transceivers outside of the house identify the person in the house and determine if it is the same person as in the robbery video? In this paper, we show for the first time that this is indeed possible. More specifically, we propose cross-modal ID. This new technique can determine if the person behind the wall is the same as the one in a video footage. Cross-modal ID only uses the received power measurements of a pair of Wi-Fi transceivers. It does not need any prior Wi-Fi or video measurement of the person to be identified. It also does not need any prior knowledge of the operation area. Let's first see some experimental results. Consider this area where a pair of Wi-Fi transceivers are inserted outside, behind the wall. The left figure then shows what is on the other side of the wall. Given a video footage of a person from a different area, Cross-Modal ID then decides if the person in the Wi-Fi area is the same as the one in the candidate video. We have run several experiments in this room with different people. Cross-Modal ID achieves an identification accuracy of 83% in this area. Consider the second area. The left figure then shows what is on the other side of the wall. Cross-Modal ID achieves an identification accuracy of 82% in this area. Finally, in this third area, Cross-Modal ID achieves an identification accuracy of 89%. Let's now see how we have enabled this. The way each one of us move is unique. But how do we properly capture and compare the gate information content of the video and Wi-Fi signals to establish if they belong to the same person? We propose a way that for the first time can translate the video content to the wireless domain. Consider this video footage of a person. By using a human mesh recovery algorithm, we first extract the 3D mesh of the person. We then use Born Electromagnetic Wave Approximation to simulate the RF signal that would have been generated if this person was walking in a Wi-Fi area. Next, consider this area where a person is walking. A pair of Wi-Fi transceivers are inserted outside of the area where the receiver measures the magnitude of the received signal. We then use a combination of short-time Fourier transfer and Hermite functions in order to get the spectrogram of the received signal. The spectrogram carries the frequency time content of the wireless signal, which implicitly carries the gate information of the person. Let's now go back to our previous video to Wi-Fi pipeline where we showed how to translate the video content to the RF domain. We then similarly generate the corresponding spectrogram for the simulated video to Wi-Fi signal. We next extract several relevant features from both spectrograms and properly combine them to decide if the person in the video is the same as the person behind the wall. Overall, our proposed approach has enabled, for the first time, determining if the person behind the wall is the same as the one in a video footage. See the paper for more details and results.